Well, this robot on your screen right now is a regional champion and made by a group of Knoxville middle schoolers. They will be representing East Tennessee at the first world championships in Houston, where Lego robots take the stage. Shannon Smith went to a practice to see how these kids are gearing up for their biggest robotics competition yet. Pilot, co-pilot, three, two, one, Lego. This is a first Lego League robot, and these are the kids that built it. I love the robots and all the software designing because it's um, super fun. Ian Borgia and the other four kids on the team all came for the robots. We are a uh, first Lego League robotics team that has three main things to our season. We have our table, we have our project, we are designated a problem every year, and then we have to find a solution to it. And then we have our core values like teamwork and competition and things like that. And then they stayed for the lessons in STEM. They worked to build a Lego robot from scratch and taught it to do certain tasks. We want to score basically the most points as possible on the table. Ella Claire McFarland says it takes a lot of work. It takes a while to like get used to like the motors and stuff and a lot of learning. But requires a lot of fun and it turns out they're pretty good at it. Right now we're fairly decent but good enough to beat most people. Good enough to be named regional champs and secure a spot at this year's international competition in Houston. You know it was a testament for the kids because they start to really see what they can do themselves that maybe they wouldn't have recognized before. Ella Claire's dad is the coach and he's learning just as much as the kids themselves. And I thought as an engineer I'd come in and understand how to oh this is right up my alley doing it and I had no idea how to make a Legos move around the table. It's not as easy as it looks and on top of robotics they also have to solve a real world problem. Our problem this year is finding a more efficient way to transport cargo. We designed a rail system to um, move move cargo from a truck to another truck without having to go through a loading dock. And then display their core values along the way. Innovation, teamwork, discovery, inclusion, impact, and fun. All things they value and keep in mind when programming their robot to score higher than their competition later this month at Worlds. It's pretty amazing what middle schoolers will accomplish. In the path of the robot, I'm Shannon Smith. That group of homeschooled students are headed to Houston next week for the competition, so we wish them and their robots the best of luck. And we'll keep you posted too on how they do.